I think we can like officially call them that. space tourists, not yeah, astronauts. Yeah, that's that is true. Very well, big true. difference. That is true. Very astronauts are like you know, like that's their job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they they go outside <laughs> they, and they, they go fix to things. school for that. They have to qualify for that. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. that goes into it. So mm -hmm. space tourism, okay, very cool, slightly different. Thank you for the. Sorry, it's just one of those things. It's like yeah. weather girl versus meteorologist. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I get that all the time. I answer to both though, because I get <laughs> it. Uh, hey, here's a look at tonight. Temperatures fading back through the 50s into the 40s, and then we will hold in the 40s through your day tomorrow. We are keeping an eye out for any rain chances that may pop up along this cold front. Do you see it? It's really hard to find, isn't it? 70s in Cleveland, 70s in Columbus, only in the 60s. Okay, so I see what you're saying. It's not that much of a cold front. But uh, if we turn on the dew point, you can definitely see a very definitive line from where more humid air is east to drier air to the west. So we have an air mass change that is taking place. This is a very subtle front for now. But remember, we're in the 70s. Now we're going to be in the 40s tomorrow. And as this drier air pushes in, the cooler air pushes in, we have high pressure that's going to try and build in. We get the squeeze play and that's going to end up with wind for us. For now though, we are dry and so do what you got to do this evening. Just know that over the next few hours, those temperatures are going to start to slide as we really start to feel that chillier air moving in, especially after the sun sets. The heavier rain, the thunderstorms have all been to the south of us. We could get a little shower or two that clips into southern portions of Tuscarawas or Carroll counties, but other than that, I really think we may squeak out of this one with dry weather. Tomorrow, though, it's all about the wind. We're going to find the wind gusts picking up as we head through the night. We will continue with blowing wind through the day tomorrow, especially in the middle of the day. So if you have stuff that you've gotten out around the yard or it's trash night tonight, just know that the wind is going to be a bit of an impact for you. We may blow the trash cans over and we may have some power outages through the day tomorrow, too. Those west winds will really pick up after the morning and look at this into the Midday hours, expect the wind gusts 40 plus miles per hour, potentially all across northern Ohio. Not only that, we will have some pretty brisk sustained winds at 20 to 25 miles per hour. So for the evening, these shower chances, if they begin to pop up, will begin to fade as we head into the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, we will start with mostly cloudy skies, maybe a few isolated showers around temperatures in the 40s and holding there as we go through the day. We may even find ourselves back into the low 40s midday. Note that the showers are really starting to pop up. So these are instability showers that we will be getting, not anything terribly heavy, but very numerous midday. And then in the afternoon, we'll start to see that backing off just a little bit. This is the real shot of cold air that's coming in later in the day tomorrow. So that tomorrow late day, as these showers may linger, our temperatures hold in the 40s. And then once the sun sets, we're going to start to clear things out, cool things off. Lake Erie may provide for a few snow showers occasionally early in the day tomorrow, especially out toward the state line area and the high terrain areas. But we'll stay cool for Wednesday morning and then watch what happens by Wednesday afternoon. We get some sunshine and temperatures magically rebound up to the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So start chilly, then we start to warm, and that's just the beginning of the warming trend that's going to start to set up for us. Because in the big picture, the jet stream pattern is all over the place. This is really the story of spring, okay? We look north to the polar vortex. Yes, the polar vortex, it's always there. It's just in the summer it constricts. In the winter it gets a lot uh, you know, larger and it starts to wobble somewhat. Anytime we get these wobbles, this is looking of course at the North Pole, so Ohio's way down here. Anytime we get a wobble, that's when we start to get these temperature swings. I'm gonna put the next 10 days into motion and you can see how wobbly this starts to get. It looks like some kind of a jelly blob that's just kind of trying to roll around. But anytime we get these little dips that come toward us, that is a sign of some cooler air that starts to get in there. Notice that we're not seeing this start to really constrict and focus in on the North Pole. So we have a whole lot more variability that is expected in our forecast. And here's the next 10 days as how the numbers play out. We'll be in the 40s tomorrow, as mentioned, with windy conditions and those instability showers. Clouds and sun on Wednesday with those improving conditions and up near 50. Then we make it to 60. Then we make it to the 70s on Friday. The next cold front comes in. The next part of the blob <laughs> makes it to us with 50s for Easter, but dry conditions. And then we'll stay mild as we head through the early part of next week. All right, Betsy, thank you.